is Thursday today. It is Frankie Doodle's fourth birthday. Just for me to look back at. But I'll pop that in there. And I've had an exciting delivery, as usual. I feel like I get exciting deliveries most days at the moment. But it is the wax pellets for my batik. <gasps> and also my, oh God, I forgot what this is called. Chanting? Chanting? Chanting, I think it's called. Uh, this is where the wax goes in and you draw with it. So now I'm waiting for my dyes and my cotton so that I can start doing this. I told mum and she wasn't as um, eye-rolly as I thought she was going to be. She would rather me do it outside, but I promised that I would be very tidy when I do, so. I was gonna go and buy some more material from the craft shop again after work today, but they are closed on Thursdays at the moment, which is slightly annoying, but it's okay. Um, I cut out two more patterns this morning for masks, so I'm gonna sit in the garden in the sun and sew those now, I think. I've just made myself a cup of tea. I'm gonna drink my tea, sew a couple more masks. I just made two more masks, just as the sun's coming in, so that was good timing. Craig has donated me another shirt. This one's Ted Baker, ooh -ah. um, It's got cross, what's it called? Checkered and stripes, which I think is pretty cool, but we're starting with just a checkered one. And I thought what might be nice is like a half and half, strawberry and checkered. Ooh! We got Nando's chicken for dinner, but I got the hot one, and mum reckons it's too hot, so we'll see. That looks like a nice dinner lady, doesn't it? Very orange. I have finished this checkered mask. I've made myself a little station with a cushion, which I find much easier because I can lean my work on it while I'm sewing. Another one done. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. So cute. The problem with me is that I get bored of things very quickly. So like yesterday when I bought the strawberry fabric, I was so excited. But once I'd made one mask, I was like, ugh, I'm over this. Give me some more fabric. <laughs> so it's really a problem. <laughs> okay, last one for the night. I did the half and half. I can't really work out if I like it or not. It's kind of cute and quirky and it was funner to sew because it had two different sides. Anyway, I'll add this to the collection. I'm a sewing machine. I'm actually thinking, did I already talk about this? I'm thinking of getting a sewing machine. I found one on Amazon for 80 pounds. Would I use it other than masks? Hmm, I don't know. One of the teachers at the school that um, I was working at, the food tech teacher, funnily enough, sews her own clothes. And she makes the most amazing like dungaree dresses and they're beautiful. And she came in recently wearing one and I was like, don't tell me you made this one. She was like, yeah. And I was like, this is the best so far. So nice to make your own clothes. That is such a cool thing to do. I'm thinking about it. Cool. Good morning, it is Friday today. I've got a bubble in my throat. <coughs> okay, we're good. Um, I've just arrived at work. I'm about to go and do some boards. But after work, first of all, I'm going to the craft shop to go and get some more material for masks. Second of all, I've been a bit naughty and I've bought a sewing machine on Gumtree. It's secondhand, it's very old, but it works. And um, I'm gonna go and pick it up after work. I am scared to tell mum because she, like she thinks that my crafting obsessions are too much anyway and when I buy a hefty old sewing machine um, she's not gonna be best pleased so I told Craig this morning but I, I think I swore him to secrecy um, I'm gonna go and get it and then I'm gonna see how long I can keep a sewing machine a secret in my own house I'm gonna take it up to my room I'm gonna use it quietly in my room with my little foot pedal boom, 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 boom. and um, and fingers crossed she never finds out <laughs> Right, I'll see you after work. <laughs> Very exciting. I've just been to pick up the sewing machine. On the way, I stopped at the haberdashery again. I got uh, two different types of material. I got some needles for the machine. I got some thread and some more elastic. And I just drove to Billingshurst to go and pick up the sewing machine. Here's the thing. Mum knows that something's up because I was like, I'll be back in an hour. She was like, where are you going? I was like, oh, I bought something on Gumtree. You've got to go get it. She went, what is it? Is it crafty? And I was like, Huge. She was like, is it big? And I was like, ugh. So I think she's on to me. To be fair, she is basically Sherlock Holmes and it won't last half an hour in the house without her finding out. So I'm just gonna bite the bullet and just kind of like walk into the garden with it. It is, to be fair, it's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. So that's, 
is that's something at least but I'm just very excited to get going the woman that was selling it kind of like showed me how it works and everything and uh, such a good price I showed it to the ladies in the haberdashery shop who I'm swiftly becoming friends with and um, and they seem to think it was a really good one for a really good price as well so here it is it's a Jones one so old school. <laughs> I feel like a proper old lady now. Okay, here we go. Let's go bite the bullet. Hello! Hey, ma'am! Tell me she wants a reaction. <laughs> so here's the thing, I stopped at the haberdashery on the way to talk to my new friends. Test it out when you get home, try all the threads, put your foot right down so you know what it can do. They got so excited for me. <laughs> oh my god. My god. Yeah. And it's smaller than I thought it was going to be. That looks about the normal size for yeah, a sewing machine. it's pretty normal size. <laughs> <laughs> Another exciting thing today is that uh, Elliot and I's camp beds have arrived. So I ordered two of these. They're very heavy. They're only 20 quid. I thought maybe I was skimping and they were going to be rubbish quality, but these are feel, feel nice. <laughs> yeah, oh, baby. It's actually very um, comfortable. Dead. Dead. Okay, I'm all set up. I just, I did a little trial and I've um, kind of made it how I want it. This is what happened. Um, but I think I'm ready now and I've just cut another little pattern out of the turtle fabric and I'm going to give it a go. I'm actually really nervous. It goes quite fast. <laughs> right, here we go. I'm going to do it very slowly. I'm doing it with my foot, by the way. It's a pedal. Oh my God, I'm scared. Okay. Oh God. Okay, that's okay. Pin. Oh. This is the most important bit because this is the seam that's at the front of your mouth. Oh, the turn is, is not happening. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, right, okay. And then I don't know how you finish, so what I'm gonna do is pull that up, just pull it out, snip it. Oh, and then I saw a thing online yesterday, actually. Oh my God, this is so fun! One mask down, it looks so professional. I mean, you won't see it over the vlog, but like, for instance, on these ones, I've got like this big fat running stitch there, and you can see that it's homemade. This one, you would pay top dollar for. So cute, I'm obsessed. <gasps> I just had to wind the bobbin up for the first time. <laughs> this is so much fun. I've never had so much fun in my life. <laughs> Another one down, this is the fabric that I bought today. So I did a half and a half. Let me balance you there. Sweet. I like that one. I'm gonna do a whole one like this, I think. And maybe a whole navy one too, why not? For another one down. This one's very sweet, except I obviously wasn't paying attention because these arcs go like this, like a rainbow, and these arcs go like this, like a U. Silly banana. Another one done. They are getting better and better. Swiftly improving. I've lost count of how many I've done. I've definitely um, become comfortable on the sewing machine. I feel like it's my new baby and I'm gonna be obsessed with it for a very long time. Um, I'm gonna call it a night there. I'm very excited because Dave from next door has said that he will donate me some of his shirts. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing what he comes up with. Um, and I'm gonna hang these on the door ready for friends to say they want them and then I can post them out. But yeah, what a fantastic day. I feel like really happy and excited and like a crafty queen as usual. Um, I am gonna have a shower before bed. I'm so hot, today is so muggy. I just feel really like sticky and gross. Um, so I'm going to have a shower before bed and try and read a little bit more of my book. That'll be nice. 
Thanks very much for watching this vlog and I will see you tomorrow where we are going to celebrate Frank's fourth birthday on the beach down in South Sea, which should be fun. Fingers crossed the weather's gonna uh, hold out. It's supposed to, so fingers crossed. Good night.